We live in a continent where legislators are measured by the number of funerals that they attend, where uh, the efficacy of legislators is measured by the number of weddings they attend, where their significance is measured by the number of men and women that they support on the day of their weddings. And therefore, we live in a continent where the legislator is misunderstood. We live in a continent where legislators are not called and expected to perform their traditional functions. We were told then that you, honorable members of the House of Representatives, represented us. We were told then that you are our servants. And for a long time, we believed that you are our servants. But over the years, things did change. And we started believing that you are no longer our servants and that you had become our masters. And that therefore, even when you claim to represent us in many African countries and you remind us that you are our servants, we do not believe you because it is the newspapers that are left to say what you say. The question that you must ask yourself, and this is a personal question, now that you have been given the honor and privilege of serving Nigeria, now that Nigerians and Africans refer you to as honorable members, the question is, are you honorable members or horrible members? Because the question as to whether you are honorable is determined by the service that you render to the people. Now that Nigerians have given you the opportunity to think for them, to imagine for them, when it is reported in the Green Chamber magazine and we talk of Nigeria as being a great country, the question is, and we will be asking you, are you midwives for the good things of Nigeria? Are you midwives that deliver bouncing baby boys and girls? Or you are midwives that kill the children in the cradle? Nigerians will be asking those painful questions which are necessary but uncomfortable. Even as I am congratulating you, ask yourself, do you deserve to be congratulated? Because my congratulations are only useful if you are servants of Nigeria. Nigeria has been becoming great for too long. The time is now that Nigeria must be great in fact. You will know that in the next few years, Nigeria will produce one in every five of Africans. When I travel to different parts of the world and you travel to different parts of the world, if you do not meet a Nigerian doctor who is at the best in the world, you meet a Nigerian astronaut who is at the best in the world, you meet a Nigerian banker who is as the best in the world. You meet a Nigerian who is as good as anybody in the world. There is no problem with Nigerians. In fact, there are those who say that you go, if you go to any part of the world and you do not meet a Nigerian, run away from that place because that place is not worthy of visiting. Nigeria is a great country and I have no doubt in my mind that we can make her great. When I hear Nigeria saying that our GDP is only $450 billion, I'm not impressed. And indeed, I remember that a Nigerian son who is now the director of the African Development Bank, Adeshina, said that people do not eat GDPs, and I agree with him. GDPs are not edible, but I hold the view that Nigeria should be in the same space economically as Germany is. Nigeria should be in the same space politically as the United States is. I look forward to the day when Nigeria will have 
reawakened her agriculture and that legislation will be produced and publicized in the magazine which speaks to agriculture. I know Nigeria can be great. I know Nigeria will be great. But Nigeria can be great and will only be great if you men and women seated here choose that Nigeria will be great.